Hey guys, this video is going to be showing you how I prevent thermal throttling on my laptop when playing games. Everything you see me do in this video is uh, through software tweaking. Uh, this should be plenty enough to lower your temperatures, but if this is not enough, then you might want to think about uh, actually making some physical hardware changes, such as uh, cleaning out your fans or even changing the thermal paste and stuff like that. The laptop I am using here is my MSI GS65 Stealth. And also, by the way, if you are using an MSI laptop such as myself, we do have a program called Dragon Center that you see here. And in the system tuner, you can actually turn up the fan speed all the way to cooler boost. And what this does is it turns the fan speeds all the way up to the maximum. When you're playing on cooler boost, I found this typically decreases temperatures by about uh, 10 degrees Celsius, which is really good. But the only downside with this is that the fans are really, really loud. Okay, so the two main programs uh, you will see me be using here uh, are Intel XTU, which is this program you see here, and Throttle Stop, which you see here. All the main changes I will be doing are through Throttle Stop. I mainly use XTU just as a monitoring program. Uh, mainly for this graph on the bottom left you see here, which I use to check my temperatures. Also any kind of changes that we make on throttle stop, such as undervolting, uh, will also show up and are applied on Intel XTU. So the first thing you should try doing is undervolting, uh, which if you're using XTU, uh, it would be this thing right here, which is called core voltage offset. So for me, uh, the lowest I could go is negative 136, which you see here. If I go anywhere lower than this, then my GS65 uh, tends to blue screen uh, either randomly or while I'm playing games, uh, this laptop will blue screen. So I found this is the sweet spot for me. Uh, but it will change from laptop to laptop uh, and for various processors. If you want to undervolt through throttle stop, you would click on this button right here, FIVR, and your undervolt settings would be here in the offset voltage. But yeah, like I said before, any kind of changes that I do are through throttle stop, and the same changes are also applied on XTU. So when I set my voltage to negative 135.7 here, it automatically changes on 136 over here. So I don't need to change anything on XTU. So yeah, undervolting is a really quick and easy way to lower your temperatures. However, if undervolting is not enough uh, to lower your temperatures to where you think it is uh, relatively cool, then you might want to think about lowering your turbo boost clock speed. And this is one of the main ways I can decrease the temperatures of my laptop. This is also done through throttle stop because on XTU, I actually can't change it here, I don't think, unless I change the per core, but I haven't tried that yet, but usually this is grayed out for me, so I just change it through throttle stop. So how you would lower the uh, turbo clock speed is on throttle stop, you would click FIVR here, and then it would be on your bottom left. You see here where it says turbo ratio limits. Now you see this is the default, the max is 41. And you're going to see that the first two cores are always going to be the highest. So right now this is running on the max speed. Uh, usually, I would say about 85% of the time I just leave it on the max speed. I don't have that much thermal throttling problems on this laptop. It usually handles cooling quite well. But there are some games that really stress out the laptop. And even with cooler boost, I am getting around the 90 degrees and above temperatures which is quite hot, so I tend to decrease the temperatures quite a bit so then I can prolong the life of this machine. So the trick here is kind of like undervolting, is to lower the turbo clock speed as much as you can while still maintaining that steady target FPS. So for me, my monitor is 144 hertz, 
I would want to lower this clock speed as much as I can to where I am still maintaining a steady 144 FPS while gaming. Because if this is running at max turbo clock speed all the time, and I am still maintaining my 144 FPS, then that's just creating extra heat that I don't need. And lowering the turbo really drops the uh, temperatures by quite a bit. I would say it's more useful, uh, in my experience, than dropping the, uh, not dropping, but undervolting the CPU. And actually when you have a monitor with a even lower refresh rate, such as 60Hz, you can actually drop this by quite a bit and you can still run at a stable 60fps and your temperatures will drop by even like 30 degrees or even more. Uh, one of the games that puts my laptop on full load is Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. And when I'm leaving this turbo ratio on the max, I will hit 90 degrees and even sometimes above 90 degrees. And this will cause my laptop to thermal throttle. But I am hitting that 144 frames steady. So I found that from my experience, uh, what I would do is I could drop this all the way to 39, for example, just like this. And this will drop my temperatures all the way to like 75 degrees, a max of 80 degrees. So even just like this, which lowers the clock speed by like 0.2 gigahertz. This drastically drops the temperatures of my CPU. And at this clock speed, I am still maintaining that steady 144 frames while playing games. The first two cores should always be the highest, and then you want to drop one for each pair going down. If I'm connecting this to my external monitor, which is only 60 hertz, I could even drop this all the way down to 32, for example. And when I drop it down to 32, for here I would drop 31, 31, 30, 30, just like that. And at this, when I play connected to my 60 hertz monitor, I top out at like 60 degrees Celsius maximum. So this is a really effective way to lower the temperatures, but again it kind of depends on what game you play. Most of the time I will leave this on the max because I don't have any thermal throttling issues, but there are just a few games where I do have to turn this down so then I don't have any thermal issues. So there you go, that is just some of my uh, software tweaks. This is how I set up my laptop. So. When I play certain games, I don't have any thermal issues. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.